Alrighty, so let's talk about our fourth gathering strategy. It's really similar to writing connected to a place, but this time it's writing connected to an object. So sometimes our memories are more tied to the things that we have seen, done, held, um, felt versus a place that we've been. So I highly recommend, just like with the last writing strategy, I recommend that before you do the first part of this gathering strategy, that you actually do take time to do an emotional moment gathering strategy, which is our first one, or you take time to do a life map gathering strategy. These are really good for just brainstorming all the things. Um, so then I've picked out some things from my life map and from my emotional moments, and I thought, well, which one of these have objects tied really strong to them? So when I was brainstorming, I spent about two or three minutes. I'd recommend getting four to ten different objects on here tied to memories. I did my red Volkswagen Beetle, which was a car wreck. Um, the other, another object was a worksheet that I got a big old fat red zero on it in second grade with my evil teacher, Ms. Kindred. Um, a basketball, very specific basketball that I was holding in the gym in sixth grade for one of my most embarrassing moments. And my shiny red motor scooter that I got for Christmas one year after I asked for it every year for eight years. I think I just wore my parents down. Anyway, um, after you guys do the brainstorming part, that again should take you maybe uh, two or three minutes, um, then you're going to do the quick write part. So this writing strategy, just like writing connected to a place, has two parts. The quick write part should take you right around five minutes. So here we go. I need to pick one of these. I'm going to pick the red Volkswagen Beetle. Reminder about quick writes. You do not need to worry about spelling. You don't need to worry about grammar. You don't need to worry about um, messy handwriting. You can abbreviate anything you want to, and you can even sketch in some of the stuff too. The idea is you want to give yourself about five minutes to get everything you think about this memory down on paper. Remember, the focus is around the object. So I need to make sure that I keep this um, bug, this Volkswagen Beetle, at the heart of my story. I'm not going to do the full five minutes, but I do want to show you just a little bit what that would look like. So um, on a sunny day, my sophomore year of college. So notice again that I am not, um, I'm not worrying about spelling or anything like that. On a sunny day on my sophomore year of college, uh, I had decided, let's say I decided to drive home to Fort Worth. What was weird was that particular day I had been feeling like something bad was going to happen. I even like told my dad about it. I called him before I left and he just told me to drive really carefully. So I just had this really bad feeling the whole time. Anyway, so I'm driving down this road, and um, the road is one-way highway on one side, then there's a median, and it's another highway one way on the other side. So this highway is going this way, and this side of the highway is going this way, right? And this is like a big grassy median. Wow, I just made that picture way more confusing. Uh, I'll have some green. <laughs> you're like, I don't even know what you're drawing anymore, Stuart Matter. All right, so here's the big grassy median. Anyway, so I'm driving to Fort Worth. I'm not going to lie. It looks like something just threw up on my paper. Um, so I'm driving to Fort Worth, and um, I end up in my red Volkswagen Beetle, because I want to make sure I'm going back to my, whatchamacallit, my object. I'm driving in my red bug, and um, totally the car looks like, right? Definitely. And I look up, and there is a truck, little bitty old pickup truck. That's what this is. Don't judge me. And this red bit will look something out of a cartoon. Anyway, that looks, that's the saddest thing. It looks like the truck has a nose. You're not going to pretend like you didn't see this, right? Anyway, the truck is coming at me head on. And I knew that if I hit the truck head on, he was driving on the wrong side of the freeway. I knew that if I hit the, the truck head on, that I was probably going to die. So I did the only thing that I could possibly think to do. And that was to take my car off of this road. So here's my car. And I took 
tried to take the median. I tried to drive on the side of the road. The problem was, was the road was curvy. So instead of taking the median, I ended up in the grass and my car ended up flipping end over end over end. And so I ended up in this crazy car wreck where my car was like flipping and flipping and flipping. I thought it felt a lot like a roller coaster. At the end, I remember I was sitting in my seat. I was sitting upright, which I thought was interesting. My wheel was in my lap. My airbag was all deflated. Um, and I remember tasting, I remember tasting dirt in my mouth. And I was really confused. The CD player had stopped playing because I was listening to CD on the way home. And um, I remember that there was like glass kind of falling around me, like kind of raining down around me in my car. And a guy walked up and asked me, hey, are you okay? He had actually stopped to ask me. So I'm going to stop right there just because our time is up. I just wanted to show you that's what a quick rate looks like. I'd probably go on for maybe another uh, maybe two minutes or so, just trying to get all my ideas out. I'd probably switch back to writing. I'm just doing this the way my brain works. So that is writing connected to an object. And again, you want to make sure that you actually do write about the object and that memory itself. So, all right, guys, good luck. Have fun. That's a wrap.